I found my. I found the pillow. It's actually really. Hello, simple. everybody! Happy Sunday evening. Welcome, welcome to Crafting with Kimmy and Eric. So I hope I said, everybody's I doing boy. well. I should have just said monkey boy. Yeah. How have you been today, Eric? Fine. So, who's in our room to start? Welcome, Skittles. Angelo. Who's Skittles? Peggy. Wait, who's Skittles? Um, CPR. Welcome, welcome. So, we have a fun project tonight, guys. We're going to be working on our dollhouse. We have many lives ahead of us. We're going to have a lot of fun doing this. Tonight is going to be part one. And we're going to be... Um, Showing different techniques, different um, materials that I'm planning. And we're going to have a lot of different poles that I'm going to be putting up throughout the um, project down the road. Which, so everybody's going to have a little say and a little um, input. So I think this will be really fun. Um, painting and stuff we're going to do along the way. Tonight we're going to be staining um, the roof and the... What you call it? Our chimney. Hi, Patty, Kathleen. And welcome. I, and I'm working. Yep. And Eric is going to be working on his awesome, awesome, awesome <laughs> gift from Dan. <laughs> so he, this is how far. Can I see it so I can show it off a little better? I can't show it off at all. So far, he's been working and he got this far, guys. <laughs> welcome, Clint. 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 So that's the bottom. Um, I'm not a big Star Wars person. I'm still learning. Who? But um, who said that? Me. But I think Eric is doing an awesome, awesome job. Very sturdy. Um, so he's gonna be working on that. His is basically kind of like the same concept. Patty says, "Nice spaceship, Eric." Um, this project, if we want, he got two of them. So this is the first one he has that he's been working on already. Then I got a um, spaceship. It is a locking mechanism, like and so. We're not using the locking mechanism. Yes, you are. It, oh, it does well, right, yeah. but it does come with glue, and it, it, it tells you the so spots good. that you can you glue it in. Um, you pop out the little slits, and the pieces pop in to that. So it's the same kind of concept. So that's why this is awesome for him to work on this. Well, I'm working on our dollhouse and our furniture. Wait till you guys see the cutest, cutest, cutest furniture. So we have that. Eric, you can start popping out your pieces. Can I see a sheet so I can show this? The um, did I move my ring light a little? So I want to. I think Dad and I can work in the middle. We can still see Eric dance here. Put the one that does not have any other. Well, I just want to show a sheet, Fine. how it works. So his comes in sheets like this, guys, which is cool. They have corresponding numbers. And he pops them out as he reads the instruction booklet. Wait, and you're um, interrupting that right now. You put them in. So, oh, you need this one? Is that what you meant? Remember? I don't know. No. Okay. okay. I have my glue gun work uh, plugged in in there. All right, Skittles, we'll see you in a few. Who is Skittles? Uh, so like I said, this is the best, best, best crafting glue. I love this tacky, um, go this way. Tacky glue, it's very strong. Hi, Hannah. Um, I use that for my coffee house, which I'll show you. If anybody hasn't seen it, this was my mini coffee house. I'm obsessed with it, guys. Super, guys, super obsessed. Guys, I it, cut out this. <laughs> it comes up with a. This is where I would put the light kit. I did not get that far. Um, and oh. it does have a music box there. mechanism in there. So, um, I just did. Oop, my little coffee cup I'm fell off. But <laughs> oh, this is silly. I just found this can. Um. I was held by a handsome fireman today. What the? You were, Patty. Can you fill us in on a little bit more there? 
um, on my wish list, if you guys want to check it out, my next one that I will be getting is up on there that has a bedroom. Um, and it's more of a house style with all the different rooms. That one, um, I cannot wait to start then. Um, down the road when I get a little bit ha um, a little bit more better with my dollhouse miniatures, I'd probably be doing one of those on a live. Mm -hmm. So now the fun part with this dollhouse, guys, is that I have to figure it out along with you. The instructions are not the greatest. Okay, that's okay. I'll help you in a minute. Um, this is the picture of the house that we're going to be building. They call it a gothic house. I guess you could turn it into a Halloween house if you want it. I just really thought the design was really pretty. They have tons of them online. They range from $20 all the way up to, I think, 100 and some. And they have all different. I was stuck in an elevator and must be pulled out. Oh, no, Patty. Well, I'm glad that a handsome fireman pulled you out. We won't tell Z. <laughs> I will. No, you silly. Just kidding. So, I, I, but when you look at the instructions, this is the instructions that I got. No words, just numbers. And I think they forgot a piece because there's no numbers on the slats that I had to pop out. They came in just like Eric Sheets. They came out, came like that. And um, I had to pop them out and I had to figure it out. But when you look at, where's my, oh, wait a minute, guys. I misplaced my other, oh, they fell. The dollhouse furniture came, oh, he already knows. I'm only messing with you, Patty. Yeah, Hannah, I'm not afraid of that. I have some little fears that kind of like that, but the elevator, um, it doesn't really, I don't know how I would feel. I was, I would have never been stuck in one. I need, um, I need something to cut this off. Right, one second. I know you like to start ahead of me, but you got to give me a second because we're starting the live and when we start going, we will get it. Okay. So one sec. These are the furnitures. We get to build a living room, a bedroom, a kid's bedroom, and a bathroom. Okay. And I started bagging them up. Welcome CPR. Um, I started popping them out. And I bagged them up. Which way am I going? And labeled them so that I know which pieces are. I still have two more sheets to go. But we're going to build some of these to show you how super, super cute they are. And like I said, we're going to show you the materials. I have the roof on the table and the chimney. These are my locking mechanism little pieces that I sorted out. I have all the other big pieces put aside. And over here, if you know me and I know Miss Peggy knows anything that you have as a crafter, you save your pieces. So these are all the pieces that are popped out that don't belong, but we might have a need for, especially things like this. So I might come up with something to use. The little mini box that the uh, coffee shop I built, I had made those flower boxes. And they're similar to using pieces like this. So we might make some flower boxes. We have a lot of things that we can do. So I saved all my extra pieces plus the sheets of the wood that they popped out of. I can use some of that. So just another tip to save some of your materials is something to think about. Then you don't have to worry about going um, and running around if you need a little scrap piece. Two hours. My Patty. Wow. All right, so like I said, we're gonna show some cool techniques. And um, I've shown a few of them when I painted before with some of the other things. I was showing you last thing, then we'll get Eric started and then we'll talk about our first steps. Like I said, with the dollhouse, they did give you a sheet like this. Each square is a sheet that, of, that I had to pop out with the number for each piece. Well, the, with the furniture, they did give me the, for each um, piece with the numbers so I could pop it out and know which piece builds that object. They did not give me something like that for the dollhouse. 
So that is going to be fun trying to um, click it together. So that is that. All right. Eric, what do we need help with? I need something to pop out something. Okay, can you show me, please? I do it in my room. What? Did we forget to pop out a hole? Was there two ones that you didn't pop? Okay, so Eric's been learning, guys, to use an X-Acto knife. Um, I do always supervise Eric and any child that you're teaching them to use adult tools. I do have a low-temp glue gun that he worked on and practiced, um, but he does use mine, which I will be, it had died, so we'll get, and I'm working on it. I think we'll be showing you that, too. We're going to be building Eric his own craft toolbox, so. So I do allow him. Do you want me to do these since it's built already? Fine. Eric's been using it. Same thing with an exacto with these I use. So I you could just push gently and push them out. He for, we forgot <coughs> a few times because they blend in. So all I did was pop them in. They're gonna go inside the object, but usually they would fall through out. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna leave this right here, buddy. If you do need it. I'm worried because they might break, and okay. I don't want them to break. What do you need? Where? Let's see, this one, this one, this Are one. Show me this one. Four. This one. These bend. Yeah, oh. they're meant to bend. Okay. So oh, that's here. easy. Yeah. See, they're pre-bent, so. No, you're meant to bend them yourself. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. There you go. There you I go. tried. I. You I have your glue. Anxiety. You have this little bit of glue. And anxiety. That one too. And anxiety. That one. That it's one, okay. That one, that one. That's what too. If you guys happen to do with these mechanisms, they are cardboard. If they do bend or they fray open and fold, that's what the glue is. You get them right into your slit, and with a little glue, you'll never know it. It will hold it tight, and they're inside, so you won't even know. The, the bigger piece on the outside is what you want to be careful with. So, all right, I'm going to have Eric work on that. Over here, welcome, Lisa Ann. Just found a bag to put my diamond art stuff in. Just got two sets of coasters so you can do at group therapy. Awesome. Wow, models have changed since I did one, right? Yes. Well, I'm glad Patty um, is not stuck. All right. Remember back when I done a Halloween project, I did some staining because I didn't want like watercolors. You could make watercolors or you could buy them. I prefer to use my paints and make them into a watercolor um, just because they are acrylic, especially with some big, big projects with painting. And they're more vibrant oh, than no. a watercolor having to go. So do we need a little help to get that in? Oh, you're okay, Jill. You have an anxiety. What? I thought that broke. You did it. You're good job. Have more confidence. Everybody, let's share Eric God. We have confidence. He's been doing good. We don't say leave me alone. When we get frustrated, you settle down and you'll be fine. Everybody gets stressed. So. Sorry, I was late. I was running, rounding up all the kids' stuff. You're fine, Lisa Ann. Um, if I missed anybody, hello, hello, welcome. And oink, oink, back to Skittles. Skittles. So the first thing, like I said, what we did, let's just move this out. What I'm going to do, too, is this, that I got an old cardboard box that um, I won't use to ship or anything. Because we know my boxes are um, valuable to me. Which, guys, I got some cool stuff coming. We're going to be having a sale soon. Oh, that's a little piece. So what I'm going to do is after we start painting and staining, I'm going to lay it out on a cardboard to dry so it won't take up some room on my table. So let me just get a piece of this up, and I meant to open this box. So one second on that. Okay. And uh, I had one side already started. All right. So I'm going to lay this right on my floor under my table, and I'm going to lay my pieces out on there. 
as we go. All right. So this is what all I did was I took a box and cut it up in half. And we're going to lay our pieces out. I'm going to paint them up on the table. So we're going to start with the chimney. Like I was saying just a second ago, what we did with my and back in the um we did a tombstone um grave design, a wood project. I think it was shaped like a coffin, and I decorated it at Halloween time. And I didn't want it to be dark brown, and I wanted it to be um a light. Oh, hold on. Rob. Hey Luke, I'm live right now. Luke. Um, yes, I'm doing a craft. Hello, everybody. Robbie says hello. Yes. Yeah, as soon as I'm done, I have it upstairs. Um, I was just, I am almost done with it. I had to go back and watch some. Okay. So, um, when I'm done, I'll have it ready for you. All right, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Hey, say good night. No, I'll, I'll text you when it's done. Right, bye. bye. That was my last <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> where is it? Where um, it? all right. I keep losing pieces. What? Right up here. What are we looking for? No, 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 no. I told you to get that at the little table, buddy, bud. So then you can lay up the, the, these up flat. No. If you put it or lay up your sheets, so this. Oh, you got it. And there's yeah, one. Oh, that's a bunny foot or something, right? Yeah, that is. All right. No, I can't. Boy, I'm getting out there. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of cardboard. I'm gonna pop it up on here and lay up our chimney on it. Where is this? Since I gotta get a plastic cable cover. A goose chase. A goose chase. Yeah. Well, you're chasing a goose. Guys, I didn't know I had a goose. Found it, found it, found it. Found oh, he it. found it. Found it. So, like, all right. I got a little distracted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're fine, buddy. Right here, I took some red paint and I added water. And again, like I've been showing you, which I have is these latex-based paints. These could be added with water. Um, And... You can use them thick or water them down so they have a smoother coverage. Um, they're great. Hey, but I also water them down more um, to make a watercolor. So the other thing is before putting it on your project to make sure you have the right consistency and if you don't want it too dark, you can see here, I was testing it out, that this one was too dark. This was light. So you start. You could always, you can't take out. So start slow and test and add that way you don't waste your paint either in making too much but i do have lids you can always pop a lid on here um and then i just test it on some paper and you can see and then it dries that's what the consistency of what i was looking for is that i wanted just a, a light um red tint and then you can stain, and it's making a stain, in a sense, for your projects. Welcome, Crafty Songbird. I heard that you got your doll hats. I did. It came anonymously. So, I'm also going to, I'm not going to be worrying about some of these when I paint. I'm going to make sure um, I paint my little slabs. When you're doing these, these are easy way of painting. Because also... Like I said, these have lines on it in the chimney. So if I painted it too dark, I might Come lose on, the texture of the, the lines. So these are very simple to paint when you water it down. You don't have to worry about your edging too much. I, I'm going to, because most of that is going to be covered. But you can just brush over it. It's going to seep right into your wood. And like I said... The other thing is that you could always do another technique is put it on, take a paper towel and brush it off just like you're staining and it will make it lighter if you ever do something too dark. Um, and it will dry lighter like we saw the paper. But if you see, 
we still have our beautiful bricks underneath. And we got our chimney red. So, and I'm going to be ordering a heat gun so that when we're painting some projects that it's soft. I do have a blow dryer that I use, but I don't want to use on the live. So it won't be so loud. We're going to, um, then we can move a little faster as we're doing things and we can get some. But if you guys have any thoughts that you can come up with or you see some on Amazon, I would appreciate to be emailed some links. If you see some, we're going to be looking for little lamps, little decors, rugs. We're going to be putting in this. We're going a whole nine yards with this project, guys. So like I said, I made my paint. These paint really quick. I'm just going to stain these to get these. So um, when we're ready to assemble, it'll be ready. We're not going to worry too much about the back. Oh, no. Well, the chimney not. But we will have to worry about that because of our insides. When we work towards the inside parts, we got to make sure that I don't paint them because our inside is going to be different. And that's going to be a task because that has to be painted once it's assembled because our rooms are going to be wallpapered and we're going to have rugs, like I said. So, but the chimney is going to be inside and out. So I might as well actually go back and we're just going to stain those. We'll be better safe than sorry. The other thing is when you're mixing paint colors, I am going to pick up paint. So I don't have to mix colors. When you have a large project, we don't want to um, be mixing colors. Wow. Awesome job. Keep going, buddy. Um, because then if you run out of that color, it's hard to match it back. So in a large project, make sure that you buy your colors. And if you see here that I just painted that, and you can see as it's drying, it is drying lighter. And uh, so, but that's what I'm loving, the effect of that. So we're going to do the same thing. And like my colors to my house are going to be pink, um, red, and black. The only, I mean, not red. Um, we're going to be doing pink, gray, some little bits of white maybe and um black gray pink and maybe some purple oh, 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 you okay? ow, ow, ow. another paper cut no 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 i was trying to pop this out and it almost got stuck oh he's not using any tools so he didn't know what he did <laughs> but like you said this way like if you use dark paint you might not get the lines. You might get it where you cover up your lines. So, yeah, the only red object is going to be our chimney. I don't um, know what this is meant to be. Okay. But we're going to have a black, hot pink, um, some purple. But like I said, um, what I'm painting tonight with, well, right at the moment, is that um, our roof and our chimney... The back and the front may be painted the same color. When I move into painting my walls from the outside, I want to make sure that I don't do that because I want my inside different than my outside. So, like I said, there's that. Like I said, it looks just like if you were staining your actual wood. Did I see your post? No, one second, Dan. I didn't. I'm going to check the chat. I just wanted to get this. I'm just oh, going back and brushing over a little bit. Oh, another one of these. What? I love this project that Dan got for Eric. Super, super. One. Do you need help? Do you need help? Fine, fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You're I'm fine? fine? Okay. Fine, fine. I stained my fingers. I do have gloves, guys. All right. Then wear them. You, you like wearing gloves, silly Magoo. I wear them so I don't right. have to wash my hands. I well, have to wash your hands. Well, stain my hands when I'm uh -oh. painting. Well, this will come right off. All right. What do we got? I am not using glue. Is Dan behaving, guys? No. Oh, Crafty. Um, let's see what Crafty said. Crafty? Yeah. A hair dryer works good, too. Yes, it does. It does. You're right. 
I just de-shedded the dog. I end up getting four brushes full from the fur. Wow, wow, wow. Hannah. Um, Dan, I'm not seeing your post. To my, I'm looking. <laughs> Harbor, Kim, Harbor Freight is where you want to get a heat gun. Oh, all right, Dan, I'll talk to you about that. Skittles, my dog is a Pomeranian. Oh, I used to have a Pomeranian. But yes, they are it's very high maintenance with that. It's a, it's a dog, really fluffy dog. Okay. Did I? Ask? Eric is building a Star Wars. Um. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What do you mean? Oh, wait, no, I don't know. Is it Bobo? F I don't know the name. I have to look on the box. Um. Give me, a, get a hold of me after. I'll show you. I'll find my two boxes of dollhouse furniture for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool, Crafty. Okay. Who's Crafty? Well, I think I have a guess who Crafty is. <laughs> Wait, what What does his logo look like? Um. Oh, then, Eric. I, I don't know if I missed anybody else. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. I do want to get my connection to Facebook and I had a project. All right, so I'm going to move these off camera and we're going to show you how I mixed my um my staining factor. No. Let's you move those off. over. Welcome, Tandy. Tandy, Tandy. Love you got your tambourine over there. Can you shake it for Tandy? No. It's behind you. Um, what else? What did I say? Ow. I if I miss that. something, guys, I apologize. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Um, Bobo Fett. Thank you, Dan. If I no said, one. I probably didn't even say that correctly. You said Bobo Fett. Bobo Fett. Feet. Fett. I don't know. Fett. Bobo Fett. Oh, okay. If I'm sure. Shake it. Shake that groove thing. He's going to be like, what? All right, so I got another empty cup. I want to make my shingles gray. So to make gray, and that's gonna be tricky. And I gotta make sure a sharp item just dropped. Oh, I thought you were using it. Okay, no, I was. Um, and I gotta make sure I have enough. But obviously, you've seen with the red, with stain goes a little, goes a long way. Welcome, Cammy King. Hello, hello. So I'm gonna add my water first, so I can have my amount, since I do know how I'm mixing it. Um, but I advise to start with the paint and a little bit of water to start. Um, another thing that I do tricky with my is when I'm using my latex paint and I water it down. I do sometimes with um, I use the kid craft paint. Because paint craft paint is more watery and um, washable. So that way I don't lose my color if I want it a little brighter color. Um, where did my black go? I just had it. Oops. I almost popped something out by accident. What did you do? I don't know. I almost popped oh, something. Oh, almost. By accident. That's the key word. All right, guys, someone's playing games with me. Where is my black thing? I have black, and I thought, did we drop it? No. All right, well, what I'm going to do is use the kid black paint with my water base of my white, which will work. But it's somewhere. So I'm going to add in my latex paint, which is thicker. I'm going to mix that first, and then we're going to tint it to get to our green. Uh, let's see. All right. So we got it. It's like a milk. And again, like I said, white on white, but. White on white. Uh, you can, I can see it. I know the camera might not pick up on it. But I also, see, oh yeah, the camera can pick it up. Also, I, I want to see when I'm doing this. It's not just to see your color; it's to see the texture 
that it's how smooth it is, especially with latex paint. It can get thick and clumpy, and you want it when your paint to be smooth and glide. So, this um, that's too. what I wanted to check. Yeah. Now I'm going to add the black. Now, we don't want to add, just like if you're using food coloring and a dye, we don't want to add too much black because we can't take out. And black is also hard to keep adding white and water to get to that. So I'm just going to put a very tiny drop of black in. This was done. I'm gonna put so two good. drops, and I'm gonna go and mix. And I'm looking for a gray, but I don't want it too too light, but I don't want it super dark either. Right. You can see that I'm coming up to gray. Mix it very well, especially with black. We want to mix and mix and mix to make sure because sometimes you'll have it land to the bottom, and Next, you're going to have splotching of your black color. So, as I, you know, you rather make sure that um, you don't do that. And then you get to the bottom. So, always also just look under your cup around your edges. Sometimes you'll see here, you can see the white. Because then when you're, like I said, you're painting a large spot, then you're going to get that streakiness into your project. So just make sure you mix it. You can use your paintbrush. Also, what works great is a popsicle stick because it does scrape around. One person didn't hit that thumbs up. Ooh. Thank you, Miss Patty. Oh, no. All right, let's test and see if, how we like our gray. Do, 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 do. What do we think, guys? I think we need to make it a little darker. I'm not liking. I think I want it a little darker. What do you think? One more drop of black. Oh, no. I think so. I'm just destroying this because it's done. I don't want to have to do it twice if it doesn't come out. Especially, like we said, it will dry later. I was spacing out. Got it. Oh, all right. So. Yeah, I just cut a large piece. Oh. So, how far do we get? Are we... Need, do you need help? I'm on page five. Oh, okay, so what are you working on? All right. I just cut this out because this was done. All right, we'll put that aside and keep going. Hey, I can make this into something, I know. All right. See now, guys? You can definitely see that we oh got it darker. God. But that's what I said, yeah, adding it. Something. And always start with your white. Um and add your black. You're adding black and going to white is a thing. Oh no, Peggy. Um, um, we'll have to work on that. Guys, if we're not, if you have a thing, you can email me tonight. I don't have the link. If Miss Peggy can't get the cooking corner link in, let me know if you have any recipes. I know we didn't get to talk about that. Um, our cooking corner is going very well. Yeah. Um, I appreciate everybody that's posting your links in there. Yeah. Sherry B, welcome. Yeah. You want to paint something? All right. Opa. Opa. Eric's going to... Oh, hold on, I'm squeezing. Oh, one second, guys. Just added white paint on the table. I don't want to get that all over. Let me close that up. And let me just put a piece of paper towel on top of that. There we go. All right. Um, I don't know what you could, I have for you there, bud. Would you like to work on um a wind chime paint? Oh, you're gonna paint that? Yes. All right. Eric found out he took something out of it and he it has a great imagination. Um, move your booklet. Oh, yeah. He does that. He's been working on it. And that's a great way of tasking. I've taught Eric. If you get a little bit um, overwhelmed. or Yes, uh, overwhelmed. Take a break. Step away. Step away. Or do something else. And, and come happened. back to it. So he did get a lot of small pieces. So I know what part he was looking at. I'll show you when my hands are clean. I did but get a lot. he cut this out and he wants to make an axe out of it. 
So we're gonna like actual Minecraft. We're gonna see how creative he gets. And it's actually cut paper. Um Mommy, this is cut paper. Will someone please click and let me know? Did you put my I Patty, two of yours are in. I have um the other one you sent me. Oh god, I am so dying to make that this week. I'm gonna try if I have time. That one will go in later. Mommy, it's actually cut so, paper. Yes. Daddy, Coming look. soon, the cooking corner with Dan. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so our cooking corner, real quick. Um, you put your link in. Um, anybody can go into that link and add one, take one, and, and try making it. You can post pictures in there. You can send me a picture, and I can show it on the live. And it's a great way to swap recipes with one another. And that we're going to be having some. We have some big plans with this. I think. And I think it's going to be awesome. And it's in the works. Um, and when it's time, I will be sharing it. So please get those recipes in because we need a lot more. And if we can get a lot and a good amount of recipes, I can't wait to see what we can do with it. Um, yes, I'm working on trying to get um, Dan to do a video with me and a pre -record it to show you some recipes with a crock pot that he starts in the morning and let's go through the day so that was harder to cook on the channel but so i'm um, working on that and i'm grateful for dan's support and help on that um anybody else that would like to do something like that you can email me if you would like to you know show me a recipe and cook it and make a video and we can get that posted it would be great I just sent an email to you, Kimmy, with pictures of my pot. Awesome! Um, my other phone's dying. I know. And this wire, let me see if I could just grab my other wire. And maybe I could show pictures. Does anybody want to see pictures of Hannah's Pomeridian? You know how the recipe for Dutch. Kim, Kimmy now has, also has, oh yes, that's right. That's the one that I will be posting. I use black to make it, never mind. I use blue to make it. Um, he's talking colors over there. What colors Mr. Eric wants to use? So yes, and that one looks so delicious, Patty. And I will make sure that I post that they are from. I've been posting who they're from, um, and the the um that if it's Dutch. Also, um, my awesome mods do support me great. I love all them. They're supporting and putting my links in. My Amazon wish list is in there. Uh, as I find things too, I'm going to be posting them in for this dollhouse. I would greatly appreciate it, but it is not expected. Or um, if you can't, don't feel obligated. But if you see something on the wish list and you would like to add it to the dollhouse or something that you come across, it would be, you know, you want to add your touch, please just. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm speechless. You guys are so overwhelming and overwhelming in this community. I love you all. But um, any little bit of support just helps keep the channel going with these crafts. So um, my mods are putting in the wish list and the PayPal and Cash App a little donation. I could pick up supplies. Um, would be wonderful. So let me just see. I'm doing too many things at once. So I was on a roll. Let me see, Hannah, 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 Hannah. You have to use that black. I know, but like... What are you looking for, honey? I need something to put them on. Oh, here. You can use this to try. Because I got to get more paint trays. It's time to reset supplies. I'm getting it. I love when you guys send me pictures. Um. Okay, uh... Crafty, I will check those out. Oh my god, it reminds me of my Charlie. Oh god, wait till I see that. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that sweetheart. Oh, I oh, miss him. cute. Isn't it? I had a dog just like that right you before you were born. His name was Charlie. Yeah. He was a rescue dog. Oh, what a sweetheart, Hannah. What a sweetheart. Oh, I got one. What is going on with my phone? You never told me. Oh, maybe I'm not. Had a dog. My... Oh, I heard it ding. I wasn't on. That's why. Okay. 
Oh my, oh my, Hannah. This is like an, oh, an angel. Look at that other picture of her. Is it a her or a boy? Her or a Oh my, oh, wrong way. Look at that. It looks like a professional portrait. Oh, what's the name? Oh, I'm in love. I miss my Pomeranians are a little snippy, but they are adorable. Thank you, Hannah, for sending those. Thank you. So hard. Just trying to make <laughs> a line. So hard making a straight line. You got it. You'll get good at it. You have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. You could have did that with the marker too. Because it is different. All right. We got a little sidetrack, but I love those little sidetracks, guys. That was super, super awesome. And as I'm sitting here, thank you for that. Because I think we need to make this. No, I don't think so. Let's try a little piece. Because if I have to go over it, we will. So let me see how this works. I'm still seeing too much white, I'm thinking. Uh, I should have did the back, right? But I didn't. What do we think, guys? Do we need it a little darker or do we like this? They are a lot of care with that fur. Oh, I know. He, The one that I rescued was... I am going to make it a tad little darker. No, I don't know, guys. You were talking about the dog and now you're talking Yeah, about I know. Dog. But before I do it, I want to keep talking. But I don't want to... Um, Carol, I can't get into my phone just, uh, and the other one's dinging from my, uh, thing. So I will check those out. Um, this is what the natural, and that is the gray. Do we want it darker? Do you think that I like that color? Um, actually, probably, that probably does look good now that I put the comparison up. I'm thinking because our house is going to have black and the pink. So we don't really don't want to make the roof that dark. And we could always go back. You never know. I like my glitter. We might, you know. Um, my Pomeranian had come from an owner that passed away. And the dogs were left in the house for a couple weeks. And he was very sick. And the Pomeranian was so mad at that oh, we had to shave him down and and everything. He had the best life after I had gotten it. Then he had a great life with his owner. It's just, you know, under the circumstance, a bit darker. Maybe we'll compromise him. That's what I'm thinking. Pick up. I just don't want it to be too light and wash out and then have to go back. Let's add one more drop and then I think it will be right. Um, and so when I got the dogs, it had there was two of them, and the other one was a Maltese, and they were so mad at because you know he he couldn't groom them anymore and brush them. So when I got them, I took care of it. I chit choo, and it got where I had to have his first shave during the summer. He loved it when he didn't have all that hair that messes with. Yes, I had a chit choo. Uh, my brothers have it. My brother still has one, Franco. All right. See, as I said, as we're mixing and adding that little bit of black with this, it's not changing the color drastically. So I'm thinking, ah, okay. And see, when I we, we go over it, it looks like the lines are going to disappear. But you got to remember, it's seeping in and it's not as it, as it dries. You're going to see it right back. So, yes. There we go. I think we achieved our color, guys. Uh-huh. Yep. You were both right, Miss Lisa Ann and Patty. But, yep. It's a little bit darker. Still keeping the color. And, um, and working great. Such a shame. Glad he had a great life after you got him. Yes. I know, and I loved it. I loved it. Please, Patty, tell Elsa I said hi, and I miss seeing her. I hope she's doing well. Yeah, so when we go back here, 
Um, I need to send her an I email. Double sided. I know she's been busy and everything. Um, so yeah, so like I said, we're gonna go in because we want the no, roof to be the same. Okay, you're doing great. Oh, no. I kind of like the other side. Is it speckled? No, no, I'm not meant to make it speckled. Oh, because okay, I know what happened. Because so not it's okay. That paint, because you know, I don't know why, Eric, it's silky. So, so there's other projects under there if you would like a different project, because yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. You could yeah. do a different project yeah, if you like. Or I have a wind chime. Would you like to build a wind chime? This was horrible. All right. So then this is going to be. Um, it happened because it's a material, honey, when it's silky like that. It's not like the wood that's going to silk, silk, seep in. So that's why it didn't work out. And I wasn't really thinking about that aspect of it. So there's going to be it. And you see how this drying, our black lines are coming through. So that's going to be awesome. So after I do that, I'm just going to pop them down here so we don't get any other colors. Give me one second. I'm going to get Mr. Eric. Eric, I have these awesome projects over here. I have um, a caterpillar. I want to decorate this. I don't have stuff right there for that right now. Do you want to do one of these to paint? No. Well, then I don't know what I can give you right now during the live. Because, um, so, it, or I have a garden stick that you could do to put in your fairy garden. You have your snail. Put outside. Huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know, honey bun, right now. Tomorrow we're going to get more craft projects for you. Do you need a break? Okay. Well, Eric thinks I just need a white bee. Because um, I got white paint. So, let's see what we say to Pomeranian. She's doing well. What did I miss? I know. I take care of Elle's dog, which is a cross between a bulldog and a quirky. Oh, that's so sweet. You're taking care of her doggy. My Pom's name is Shades. And he's 10 in June. I've had him since he was 12 weeks. Oh, how cute. You can play your game if you like. Okay. All right, so now we achieved the color we want. Just gonna move Eric's colors. I thought Eric was gonna do that. Eric, I have other projects coming for Eric too. He's been building things like this. That's his grocery shop. This was more kid friendly and age appropriate for him. So that's what we're gonna be. He's gonna be getting a whole little village. And then what I'm gonna do back here, guys, is I'm gonna decorate my wall with our minis. And our dollhouse is and awesome, awesome stuff coming. All right. So, he's going to put his paint over there so these are out of the way. All right. So, let's lay them out. And now, now that we achieved our color, I can go through. And then I'm going to show you. Can't wait till we get to our mini, mini, minis. So, these we're just going to go right over, like I said. And um, I'm going to probably end up covering the, that because then I have to flip them. But I'm going to show you, too. Here is our chimney. And you see how they're drying? So they are just like a tint. So I love, love, love. I love this technique. And like I said, it, and it it's very easy to paint. Like I said, there's it's staining. Um... If you, I sometimes, like I said, keep a paper towel and if you go too heavy, but I'm brushing back and forth, um, all you would do is wipe. If you do water and wipe, you could do a sponge instead of a paintbrush to the paint when you stain. So, and you, we can do it a couple coats, but I'm liking that it's just giving enough 
tint so we don't lose our lines for our shingles. And I just do want to get into here. And when you stain, if you notice, you can go pretty quick with them. I'm just going to go into the little holes. And because it is a watered base, that's why you just dab it on and then walk around and just do. But so that's our first technique that we'll be using throughout our dollhouse is staining and mixing. But other colors we are not. So I'm going to make sure um, that I pick out the colors that I want pre-made which I do have a few because with a large project, like I said, you mixing colors, you won't be able to achieve that color every time to be the same. Um, even if you measured out your, your measurements equal, it's still going to have a harder time making sure. So I don't want to have that or her mismatch coloring for things. So, and you can see how beautifully it's drying. It's just giving us enough tint. And if if need be, you could always go over it again and give it a little darker. It will darken it. We just can't take back. We can't go lighter. So. And when you do this, it doesn't saturate the wood and it's not harming it when you water it down if that's... Um, it, Anybody thinking that it's not going to warp the wood of the dollhouse, especially with the latex base paint when you water it down. That's why I don't use watercolors. Sometimes the watercolors, you have to put so much to achieve the color that you end up soaking it. But this is actually very well made. Um, I'm very pleased with the doll, the, the make and the wood of this dollhouse. So. I'm going around my edges very important and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come back to um, I'm just going over that because I did my edges so I um, evening out wherever it, there's a little thicker of the wet wetness all right so that color is awesome guys what do we think i think we got the right color um and i'm gonna go back and do the back after i don't want it sticking to the cardboard because then when we have to go back so i'm gonna lay these out the little pieces go very quick See, I really only have to dip it in once on these little pieces. And then I'll go back and do another coat. Because like I said, it dries lighter than what it is. So don't worry. Like I've been showing you, the lines do come through. And that. So. And like I said, I do have um, some of the other projects coming for Eric. So um, he'll be building. He loves the one that he gets super excited with the other project. But when it's, it is a little tedious and he doesn't want to bend something. So he's, he's getting used to it. It is his first model car um, project like that. And I think he's doing great. Um, I have not really helped him much. I helped on one of the, the long skinny part when he was trying to first bend it. He had a hard time. So we worked that out. And, um, we're working on staying calm and it's okay to be frustrated. We all get frustrated, right guys? When we can't do something or it's not working out the way we want that you just walk away. Got a little too much on that one. So I guess we're going to do that. But that piece, I think you're not going to see anyways. It's the bigger, larger pieces in the attic. You will see it through. So I just want to be careful with that. So. And that's why also this is a paper table cover. So I'm wiping right on it tonight, but usually I have a plastic one. 
so. All right. And I'm going to go back through and paint the other sides. But when they're wet, if you turn it over and you have wetness, just make sure that you uh, just brush it off so you don't have a super pile. What are we saying? She needs an airbrush. Dan, she needs that little roller I have. What am I missing? You need a troll size paint roller. <laughs> oh. Uh, the brace. Oh, you got the email. Thank you, Patty. That's very sweet. Um, oh, Eric's doing great on his model. Thank you, Peggy. I'm glad you like it. Um, the packages are going out, guys. To, um, I want to say tomorrow, if I can get to the post office, if not, it will be within the next day or two. Um, if anybody sees Beth, can you ask her to please email me her address? My book, I lost a page or two with the new laptop. I'm having trouble. Um, uh, finding certain things um, that were in my spreadsheet. So I'm not finding some of my things. And I'm getting back there. I'm organizing. Hey, I do things. I know you guys mean it. Like, I should get this or that. Um I, I've always done things without having to buy certain things or but now doing the lives I know some things I do need to um kind of grab. You got an email. I sent a picture of our farm so Eric can see where little Eric lives. Awesome. I will check that out after Patty. Did you hear it, Eric? She sent it where little Eric lives. I can't wait, Patty. Um uh, Eric adores you, Patty adores you. Yes, I love this color, guys. I love it. And Pat Peggy says you're doing great. Me? Looks like he came a long way with it. Yeah, he did. He He's doing great with it, guys. I think we are going to have to do another coat with this gray. I'm going to try it on this piece. Because I know this piece is a side piece that you're not going to see. But... um. But I, I enjoy painting. It's satisfying to me. And I love the milkiness of it. With, when you, like, I call it staining. It's one technique that, I'm not sure where I learned it, but um, I definitely like it better when I, when I do things like this, especially that it has the lines. So, and I will, we're going to test that out. We might have to do another coat. Like I said, I didn't want to go too um too dark, but hey, could you please you gotta be a little quiet with that? He's playing some Hot Wheels over there. He got so much Hot Wheels in. He loves the ones he got from Kimberly Mills. He got some awesome Hot Wheels when um from Robbie's auction. Eric, how many Hot Wheels do you have? I don't know. Too many to count, huh? Yes. He probably is a couple, uh, close to a thousand. Yeah, no, I don't know, but he, he's up there in numbers, hundreds. And he plays with every single one and loves them. And he has a big Hot Wheel garage. Especially um, a lot of city stuff. The lake. Like the restaurant. Uh, that and Legos. Eric loves, loves building Legos. So. Is this not the for off the edge? Yeah. So, so, so. Yeah, guys. Um, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Um, the three that I've done are definitely darker when I did a two coats. And I'd rather do the two coats than have to do... Um, a darker color. So. I'm going to do these a little quicker. We got two more. Yeah, I need my, my paper, uh, my plastic covers back too. You know what? Let me get something. Let me get this for these bigger pieces. Yes, he is now about. Oh, 
Are you saying little Eric's cow? Um, little er the cow is over two about two hundred pounds now. What the? Wow. There we go. Yeah, magic. I don't know why I didn't grab my sponge brushes because that's what I usually use. Look how look how fast I did that one. I forgot because I usually buy these in abundance. These are fairly cheap. You can get them in Home Depot, slow, quieter, um, and the craft store. And then I'll do the edges. So one, two, three. And actually that works better with that. I don't know what I was thinking tonight. They sap up the water. Because I think I was doing it and I don't have any more babies. And they are good for one color. You can rinse them out. I usually don't, depending on what project I do, what I'm working on. But you cannot keep them too long because they do disintegrate if you just try to keep. Because I used to buy an abundance of them. And if you don't use them, they uh, they get brittle and, and crumble. All right. Let's move that over there. This And it does dry quicker than without... Um, regular paint. So underneath they are drying up for me. So, and then next guys, we're going to show you some little baby furniture. Who wants to see it? I'm going to let you guys gonna take a vote what we're going to build a couple pieces and go from there. All right. Because this is actually working pretty quick. All right. <sighs> The last one, and then we're going to do a second coat on the other three because I'm going, to, I'm going to show you the color. And then I can do the back. Two seconds these take. Look at that. This one, I grabbed the one that doesn't want to. Uh, you know what, guys? I got my glue gun right here. Voila! All fixed. The fun part of being crafty, right? Think outside the box. <laughs> All right. Awesome job. So now I'm going to go back through that. And if you get it too thick, just pat it on the paper towel and uh, so you can get it off. So I'm going to just go around my edges. All right. Well, so these are on the table, so we might as well go over it. They don't have to be completely dry, I'm noticing, especially when I'm doing this. And I can get my second coat on because I'm just brushing it. And then I'll flip them over. We'll do the other side. The other side doesn't have to be as dark. It could be you know, a little lighter because that's going to be the inside. All right. Let's see. I don't know. I wasn't thinking, but that went 10 times faster. We'll get that after this one dries. Yeah. So this is an awesome color. What do we guys think about this color? You have another email. Oh, okay. Hannah, I will check my emails when my hands aren't messy. I appreciate all the emails, guys. You are so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember to hit that thumbs up if you haven't. It's greatly appreciated for supporting my channel. I love each and one of you guys. I love that, you know, your ideas. I can't say it enough. You guys warm my heart. All right. So... Oh, I forgot these are Eric's little popping things over here. All right, 
Let me pick these up. All right. Yeah, as you can see, that one didn't, you know. So. Good color. Uh-huh. Good to it. Good color. Yes, I do. I'm liking the color. I didn't want to do brown because of the color scheme that I was planning. So, um, for the shingles. So, I figured the gray would be the best option. Because brown now, it wasn't hitting me. And I figured a red chimney, chimneys are red. Um, so that didn't really matter. So, yeah, now we're, we're going fast with, um, the sponge brush. And I do know that. I just had a moment. So, easy peasy. Because, like you said, you could see. But doing the multicoloring, the colors coming out, we're just going to double coat it. And I didn't want a strict paint. Um, a strict, I didn't want a dark regular paint because you would like, like I said, you would lose the lines. And, um, and it, I don't want the roof to be my main focal point. So these little pieces are quick now. All right, that's done. But like you said, it goes on a little darker. It dries a little lighter. Now we're rolling. Um, what do we got? Just the little ones. And when you send that sponge brush, you get an even coat, which is nice. If you're a first time painter and the sponge brush, like I said, the evenness of it is um is better than a paintbrush. All right, did we get the back of that? Let's see the back of this one. I'm trying to stay in the camera. I'm just trying to get these done so we can get the cutest part coming. I'm gonna tell you guys what I have and I'll show you. And we're going to get a few pieces built. And then when I get them, I'm going to be putting a poll up and we can guess what colors we want to do. Um, and I will show you some of the other techniques, the other supplies that we're going to be using on the dollhouse that I have down here. All right. So that's done. Those two need to be redone. Uh, do we do the back of this one? Nope. Let's get the back of that. See, and I just did. Um, this is all I have left. I'm coming to the end of it. And I'm lucky it was just enough. Because if I try to go do this color and rep replicate it, um, I don't know. If it, it's hard to get it back. So I'm lucky that I have only some small pieces. And the brush is holding in the color. So... I'm not worried about the inside making that. That could be just tinted because um, I'm going to be adding things inside. So. All right. All right. Yes. 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 We'll check on our um, chimney. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Let's get the back of that one. And making sure I got all my sides too, like I said, because I don't want to have to come back to this and then have a different color. And that will, I am a perfectionist. So if I have one little thing or had to do something of one color or make it close, I will see it. And it will drive me nuts. But, yeah, and like I said, you just want to build. The more you uh, layers you do, the darker you're going to get. So, so I'm going to be making it, too, and I will be posting, 
you know, the techniques. Um, that I do so that we know the different styles. And um, tonight we did the, the, the staining, I'm going to call it, painting. Um, yes, good color. Thank you, Peggy. Sorry, doing chores. You're fine, Lisa Ann. I've been doing my diamond art today. It's a picture of Dumbo. <gasps> Dumbo! Oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm loving that I'm doing your med reminders. Can you have a shower? You can go take. If you want, if you want to start it. All right, until the live. Good. You're fine. Eric goes back to school. He had a great weekend. He played outside. It's still a little chilly here. Yeah, we have plenty of paint. Yeah, so this roof. So I'm going to keep a list and... um. I'm making some prints so that we can work through this project together, but I'm not sitting here popping out, organizing. I want to do the fun parts with you guys. Wow. All right. So we got that. I think we're down to the last little bit that I have. Good. Um, I just got to get the backs and I'm lucky that I mixed enough paint. I thought I had a lot. I did do, I think I did more than one, two layers on, I just kept going on until I seen, as I seen it drying. Um, I just built the color up. So that's why. So always try to make enough, especially these solo cups. They're great. You can um, put lids on them, especially with the stain and it locks it in. And like I said, we don't need to worry about the the inside. I want it to be as close and, and covered at least once. And then um, most of it's probably not going to be visible. All right. Oh, I missed the spot on that one. Right. Don't get worried as it dries. You might think that... um. There's spots and stuff. It's just the way it's drying. Like I just did. But that I landed on top. All right. Last piece for that. And then I'm just going to wipe up my table. I've only worked in. Yeah, Peggy's been sick. I'm glad Miss Peggy is feeling better. She'll be back diamond arting. I think in between this, we might have a diamond art party. Um. Because this is going to take a couple lives. Well, it's going to take quite a few lives. So I might break it up here and there. But I'm so excited to be doing this. And this is something that I've wanted since I was a little girl to do. And one reason or another didn't happen. And um, now it's coming true. My first homemade in dollhouse. All right. We just got to get this. Because I just ran out, guys. But that's the cool thing with these sponges. They do hold in. So you see I'm just getting it. All right. There we go. Right, let me move our little, little pieces over here. Turn that one that way. And let's get that one on here. I'm just going to go over that. So my backs, I got them a tone. And the others, we did it. It's coming late. If anything down the road is where I'm going, I can um, easily, we could easily do another coat over this. We can build as we paint um let me just get a wipey for my hands just had my white piece it's another trick that i've always told you i have hand santa wipes and i always have my bleach wipes so you know when you're crafting you don't have to run back and forth to the, um to a sink and they work great just not when you dye your hands green 
<laughs> like I've done. So let me just clean up this a little bit and move the cardboard. And then I'm, we're going to build a couple of little furnitures. And um, like I said, I'm going to be taking some pictures of the ones that we built. And we can't paint the furniture yet because we don't know what they're going to be matching. We have to come up with our color schemes for our rooms. So, all right, I'm just going to wipe the outside of this cup because I want to save my cup with that. Move that over. Oh. So I do have a purple that I'm liking and I have two tubes of this purple. Um, this pink, I have quite a bit. I'm loving this pink. But I'm going to go pick up paints and check because it's not just going to be one pink, one purple. I want some different colors. So here's our roof tiles. The color is amazing. I think it's picking up great on the camera. So we're going to put that there to dry. All right. Move my glue gun over here. Oh. All right. Let me just get rid of. Matt's oh. paint. I don't want to step on it. My luck, I will. All right. All right, guys. So, oop, I got paint on my phone. Wouldn't be a true crafter if you didn't find paint somewhere. I remember when you dyed your hands green. Yeah, I did. But you know, once I got off that live, guys, Magic Eraser was my best friend. And my hands were uh, pretty much not green. All right, sorry for the crinkles. Um, I just want to fold up the paper. I don't want anything on my dollhouse. So, actually, you know what? Let's just do this. We don't need it. All right. Let's just. This has been my craft table for years. Got it right before Eric, in my other place, and that's why you see all the little things I didn't cover it back then. All right, now we got a naked table. Possibilities are unlimited. <laughs> All right. So, these are my bits that we're working on. We have a couch and a chair. We got the kitchen table and chairs. There's five chairs in there. We got a bed and a kitchen table. That's the kitchen table. We got the tub, which this one I did start. So I'll show you that in a minute. A mirror, two bed table, a large and a small table, and another bed. A vanity mirror and a small chair. This is super, super cute. And um, a small table and a rocking chair. So is there one particular? I am going to pull out the potty um, and the tub right now. Wow. If you see something, if you heard, let me know and um, we'll build it. The potty is going to be, need a lot of glue. Most of this is like a snap and shut. Um, a, the snap and uh, build. I'm oh, snapping going, going. Yeah, we're snapping and going there. Um, which is a neat. But if they're loose, they do tell you to uh, put glue. But I'm going to be gluing most of it. Because uh, I want it to be reinforced. All right, I'm just open another craft. Like I said, this tacky glue is amazing. It is thick. Um, and it dries perfectly. If you see, I'm having a hard time squeezing. All right. So I put mine on the cardboard. I don't use it through here um, because I have more control. What I do when I'm gluing, um, before I lose you guys, um, I use a toothpick. 
So I already got my base of my thing. This is very secure and tight. It is not coming apart. That is the tub. But now with the tub, it does click in, but it falls. Now it's not. It does come off very easily. So what I'm going to do is with the craft glue, I take my toothpick and I'm just going to, and see, I have more control than with the bottle. I'm just going to put it on the top and the sides where it, where it clicks in. It does dry clear. I don't use my paint brushes. Um, I have one paint brush that I use and I rinse so for glue, but um, it just ruins the paint brush and I go through too many. So I like the toothpicks because they're skinny and they have a tip and I have control to where my glue is going. So I'm just putting it on the knobs on the inside and the top and then I'm going to snap and I'm going to put it right where oh. it's like a puzzle so that and then I'm going to go back and just add a little bit more into the inlay Just so I know that it's secure. And like I said, with the tip of it, you can get right into where I want. I'm filling it in. And then what I do is I take my finger and I like to just wipe it off. Now it's nice and neat. And also it's going to fill in those gaps. That's why I kind of like a tile or caulk. You know. You can fill it in and wipe. And that's what, because these are locking mechanisms. So I kind of want to just build that up a little. Um, what did I miss? Night to WrestleMania. I don't know what that means, Dan. Are you leaving? So, um, you could do the brushes with the nail salon. They use nail art. Yep, I have, I have all types of brushes. Uh, all right. Bye, Dan. I'll talk to you later. All right. So there's our tub. The toilet, the potty, I'm going to build uh, later because that one I do have to check the instructions. Um, we've been on for an hour and a half, guys, with crafting. I'm trying to keep my um Sundays down to between an hour and a half to two hours for you guys. And our game nights will be a little longer and fun. Um, so... All right, let's see. Another easy one, since you didn't put it in there. But how super cute is that tub? Um, all right, these, these are real fairly easy. We're going to get in there. Let's match our pieces. That one goes with that. Those go there. And this is what I wanted to show you with our mirror. Okay, that's there, and that's our bed. So let's do these. These are fairly easy. Our mirror is simple. It has two little legs. I thought you were doing a countdown. <laughs> um, like I said, so here's our little leg. I'm just going to stick some glue right into there. And these just latch and thing. When you're building these, I noticed, you know, you don't want to just put the glue. You want to push and make sure that they're all the way up and in there into the locking mechanism. They do go fairly tight. So like I said, put it into the crevice and then push it up. And look, now we have a stand-up mirror. What I can't wait that I want to do with this. No, it does stand up. Let's put it back here. Oh. There's our little mirror. Um, I have all these types of paper, which I'm going to get more. They come in non-glitter. They come in glitter. They come in matte. Tons of things we can use for wallpaper. Um, 
But I, I like sparkle. I know Amara doesn't have sparkle, but we're going to cut it out and make a trim. And we're going to make our mirror. How cool will that be? So um, I could get silver and make it. I just think that the glitter will stand out more. Obviously, we're going to paint our mirror. And then we're going to have uh, the inlay to make it the mirror image. Our little vanity is going to be like that also. So super, super cool. So there's our mirror. Like I said, our furniture doesn't take long. Like here's our twin size bed. The same concept with this. And all of this, I want to tell you, when you're using this tacky glue, make sure you only put a little at a time on your board. It does dry sitting out. But see here with the toothpick, all you do is put it right into your mech, into your slots. Toothpick fits right in. And then we're going to slide. Slide all the way in until it clicks. And there's that. The same thing with our footboard. Slide. And you don't need glue on both sides. You just need one. Oh. Okay. okay. Couldn't get in there. And then slide. <clears throat> Any excess glue, you can just go and wipe with your finger. I do. Or I take the other side of the stick if I can't get it, and I just run it in there. <laughs> Sing it over there, guys. And now we have our bed. You put it in backwards. What do you mean I put it in backwards? What did I put in backwards? The whole bed, probably. What did I put in backwards? Don't you have a little real mirror from a makeup purse? Yeah, I do. I can do that, too. The headboard. I don't know how I put the headboard in. It's the same on both sides. Because it can only go in one way. I can't take it out now. It go. It only can only go in one way. I can't. It was my eyes. Oh, okay. You scared me. You scared me. I'm like, wait a minute. I gotcha. Okay. So, yep. So, yeah, we're going to paint all these little details different. I could. I just like glitter. I couldn't see the markings were on both sides. I got you, Peggy. I got it. Now, you scared me for a minute. <laughs> so, here's our little bed. Yeah, we could. I just thought the glitter. But I'm going. I got to get all the supplies. That's why we're not doing it right now. We got to get everything built. Our mirror. All right. Now, the same thing with our little tables. Um, all right. Let me make sure I got this the right. Yeah. All right. So, we just want to put it in the slit. And click it in. I had my other pick. My box of toothpicks is upstairs. So you're fine, Peg. You don't have to be sorry. You just had me confused. <laughs> I usually take a toothpick to go around. And then I'm just going to put some glue around here. You can see my glue's hardening on my board already. Are these tables going to be cute? Watch, guys. Let's snap that in. And like I said, they do snap in and they have a hard time. I'm making sure that I'm reinforcing it. There we go. Um, With the glue. 
because I don't want it to come apart, especially when we're painting and all that. I want it to be, you know, look at that table, guys. Look how cute that is. Look at the details. These are, we're going to be all painting. They won't be stained. Um, and then they had a matching little one. So, like I said, I'm sticking it into the little holes. And then just going to push it down. And the paint does dry clear. And then I'm just going to make sure I put it on both sides. And then we're going to make a little table. A little mini. They're meant to go both ways. They are a tight fit, some of them, they said. But... Come on, hold on. I can't. All right, got it. I'm trying to bend over and show you. Look how cute this little one is. Look at him. Couldn't get any smaller. Two for one. Oh, wait. I didn't know if I could tell from the gator claw, so I didn't tell. Oh, okay. We're kicking gator claw. Ah. All right. So there's our table. So, um, what do we got? A bed, a kitchen table. We did that. How about we build the couch and a rocking chair? And then I think we'll be done for the night. What do we say? Uh, the potty, I don't want to do right now. That's going to be cute, but it has a lot of pieces. I want to make sure we don't rush through that. And then we do have five chairs. Because four go with the table and one goes with the vanity. You guys want to see the little vanity? I'm just going to show you this. The, um, I don't know if I want to build the vanity yet. Or wait, because like I said, I got to find some paper. Because um, this is the part of the vanity, but you can see the outline. Oh, let's show. So, right there, that's where the mirror got to go. Oh, okay, Robbie's gone live. Gotcha. All right, let's get these built, and then we're going to be calling it night. Like I said, we're going to be in it between an hour and a half to two hours. So, um, what do we got? We got chairs. Oh, okay, so these are like um, living room chairs. So, the couch and two, like, arms chairs. So, we're going to build these real quick. That goes with the couch. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm missing a piece to my couch, guys. So that's the back of a chair, the two sides. Oh no, maybe not. No, wait, wait, wait. That's a seat. That's the seat. Oh no, and they match. All right, let me make sure. Yeah, okay, because they have the same style as the chairs. So the same thing like we've been doing, I'm just going to shove the glue right into the crevices. And with tacky glue, it's all right that if it starts drying, because that's what the whole point. So I'm going to just, and the, see the toothpick, it goes right into these, especially when you're doing these um, perfectly. Okay, so here's our bottom of our couch. Uh, just going to push that in. I'm pushing that in. So there's our couch bottom. And then I already put glue onto that because you don't need to put them on both. And okay. 
And there's our couch. Isn't that super cute, guys? I have an inappropriate doggy. Now he has got a hold of his loving teddy. Aww. You need to make, you need to be, need to make like little comforters. Oh, yes, we are. His Skittles. We are going to be making um, blankets and little pillows and little seat covers and we're going to paint them and put little cushions. Oh, we have a lot that we're going to be doing. Super. Even like the water in the tub, we're probably going to put a little spigot here. So many cool things and fabrics we're going to be using. Um, Yep. Oh, don't you wait. That's why I said we have many lives that we're going to be going through. All right. So our two chairs are going to match our sofa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through again. I'm going to add in the glue. And I, I just wipe and go. And it does dry clear. I'm going to put that one down. Um, our seat, our bottom, we need a bottom for our sitting pleasure. Good job. All right. Finish up what you're doing over there, bud. You have to take a shower. Mm. You have school in the morning. All right. Like I said, too. Oh, rope the glue off. That's drying. Just make sure when we push it in, we want to push and click. And push and click on this one. And then that. Like I said, there's no instructions these really came with just for me to sort out the pieces and get. So there's that. And then we got to take our backing. And push that in. Hey. <laughs> what are you saying over there? All right. And look. Look at that little chair. Isn't that super cute? I love the detail in it. So, yep. Yeah, so there's like our little living room set. And we have one more to build. So, so far we got our roofing. And we got, which I'm going to show you a piece before we end. And I'm going to show you the chimney real quick. Oh, all right. We got that done. And I always do. I've learned to put the seat on. So. Um. I think, guys, what I'm going to do, too, is I have these five kitchen chairs that I'm going to probably build so we don't um, bore you to death of making five the same. I probably will make those separate, and um, I might make a short out of that. I think that would be super cool to speed that one up and uh, get those five chairs done. Oh, I did that. But these chairs are so cool. All right, and then, yeah, so you always want to do the seat if you do decide to put the seat on first and then put your backing on. I found when I was playing around, just trial and error to make sure because then that goes down in an angle and push. With the glue, you don't hear the snapping as much, but you will feel it. And like I said, I just kind of clean up if there's any glue. And then there's our other chair. So as you can see, we have the little living room. We have the bath. We have our little bed with the mirror and our little table so far. So we, we definitely, oh, that would be so cool. I know. And the little pillows. Oh, I don't knit, but oh, that would be so precious. I know, Hannah. We might have to talk and see. You never know. But, all right, let me just get rid of the... I don't want to stick my thing in there. So, so, so far, we got our little... So we got a good start on our furniture. 
Like we have a double bed. We have the kitchen table in here. Isn't the bed with the the design is adorable? Um, this one's a rocking chair and a small table. Like I said, I got five chairs. Um, only one is different with the back, but everything else is the same. So we have those. Um, and I still have more to go through. So here is, I'm just going to pick up one. These did dry super. I like the color. I definitely love that light, light gray. So to the color, to the, um, to the roofing, our lines did stay perfect. Wow. We've been knitting since you were eight. Awesome. Hannah. Um, so our roof is definitely coming along. Um, here is our chimney, which dried perfect color red, I think for the chimney. It's dry. Like I said, the staining part works. I'm going to stick these down here and they dry very easily. So, um, and if you look to the contrast with these two, it's awesome. I think the gray with the red stands out perfectly. What do you think, guys? Make me. So we definitely got that. Um, awesome on that. All right. So, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I hope that you guys are going to enjoy that. Thank you, Anna. I thought so, too. I hope you guys are going to appreciate this dollhouse. I think we're going to have so, so much fun. Um, let me just not put my seat. I don't know if my ring light's going to stay up. I can hold it for a minute. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, don't mind that light. We'll turn it this way. So there we go. Um, I really, really hope that you guys are going to enjoy this series of us building this little tiny miniature dollhouse together. Like I love that Hannah put in an idea. So I think that we have so much fun ahead of us. Um, Tandy, I don't think my butt can fit in that chair. <laughs> I don't think so either, Tammy. On mine, not yours. Um, but I think we're going to have so much fun. And I really can't wait for your inputs. You know that I love the color black and hot pink. Uh, purples. Um, I like the Caribbean blue. I think we're going to have so, so much fun with this, guys. Um, lime green we might be able to put in. Like I said, the scraps that I saved, my mind is going to cannot wait to make maybe little flower boxes for the outside. Um, so many possibilities. I think that we're going to be having fun. We'll be having fun built in the house, Kimmy. Thank you, Peggy. So, um, guys, thank you. You warm my heart. If you find something, please email me. If you see any cute little things, um, I'm going to be having my Amazon wish list. It has been put in the chat. If um, you're able to and you see something and you want to send it to the dollhouse, please let me know. Um, or a small donation would be greatly appreciated. My Cash App and my PayPal are in the chat if you would like to contribute towards the dollhouse. Um, or any craft supplies to keep me going is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um I love each and every one of you. Please all have a great week ahead. Um, I will be back on Wednesday night with my awesome panel and mo great mods that we will be having our game night. Our last night, guys, for our Chunky Monkey. Um, oh, you're very welcome, Lisa Ann. Um, that we're having fun. Giveaways will be going out this week. And I hope you join us again on Wednesday night. Say goodnight, Eric. Good night. Good night, all.